The voyage of Fram is one of the most amazing ever undertaken by any ship. Fram was a Norwegian schooner built for the Norwegian explorer Fridtjof Nansen. He had devised a plan to be the first to reach the North Pole and he aspired to do so by ship, or at least almost by ship. The concept was inspired by a finding in 1884 of debris from the American ship Jeannette, which had been lost in 1881, north of eastern Siberia. The debris was found in the waters near Greenland, and this made it clear that the ocean current went from North Siberia across the Arctic Sea and down the east coast of Greenland. Fritz of Nansen wanted to exploit these currents to reach the North Pole. To meet the requirements of this voyage, a very special ship needed to be constructed. In Nansen's own words, a ship that would slip like an eel out of the embrace of the ice. This ship would be the schooner Fram. Fram meaning forward in Norwegian. For more on schooners, see my video on schooners. Fram would have a hull with bow, stern and keel rounded off and the sides smoothed so the ice would have nothing to catch on to. The hull was built in three layers of South American Greenheart, which was the hardest timber available and it would be further reinforced with cross beams and braces throughout the hull. Fram was rigged as a three-masted schooner and had a 220 horsepower auxiliary engine. But both speed and indeed sailing qualities were secondary in the design of Fram. The ship was designed to be locked in ice and then follow along with the ice flow in the currents beneath. This was the whole point of the Fram expedition. Sail to the new Siberian islands, get locked in the ice, float in the ice to the North Pole and continue with the flow down the east coast of Greenland. The concept was beautiful in its simplicity. It simply relied on floating along with the forces of nature. Its execution of course required quite a lot more. Nansen succeeded in getting finance for his expedition however and would embark from Vardø in northern Norway in June 1893, going east along the Siberian coast. Fram brought along a crew of 12, including Nansen, which would be the total for the voyage. Nansen being aware that the ice flow would not bring them exactly to the North Pole, stopped at Kabarovo in Russia to acquire Samoy dogs for the dog sled that he brought along for the trip from Fram to the Pole. In September 1893, Fram arrived at the New Siberian Islands and was frozen into the sea ice according to plan. Fram now started its very unique sea voyage in the ice going along with the currents. It would soon be clear that Fram was quite capable of withstanding the pressure from the ice. It was locked in the ice without being damaged from it. This was a great triumph of the design. The main problem that would face the Fram expedition would not be the danger of being crushed by the ice, but the very slow speed of progress. It became clear that the ocean current moving the ice cover moved in an anything but straight path. Fram ended up following the ice on a very irregular voyage through the ice flow. This also meant that they progressed very slowly, leading to boredom and inactivity on board. As it became clear that Fram would not get close to the pole by the ice flow within a reasonable time frame, the crew started to prepare the docks and dock sledge for a dash to the pole. On the 14th of March 1895, Nansen and a second crew member set out along with the dogs and sledges and a couple of kayaks in tow.
Their plan was to reach the North Pole and then go to Franz Josef Land, from where they would seek to get to Spetsbergen. Nansen reached a latitude beyond the 86th degree north before turning around and retreating to Franz Josef Land, where they spent the winter 1895 to 1896 until being rescued by a British ship in June 1896. Nansen reached the northernmost point till date, but failed to reach the North Pole. Meanwhile, Fram and the remaining crew had continued in the ice flow and got free and returned to Norway also in June 1896. The Fram expedition failed in the attempt to reach the North Pole, but was a success in that the design of the ship proved capable of being locked in ice for years without breaking. The expedition had also been successful in not losing a single crew member. The Fram would continue to be used in expeditions, having proved its worth in ice. It would go to the Canadian Arctic Islands in 1898-1902 to and in 1910-1912 to Roald Amundsen would use Fram for his successful expedition to the South Pole, quite fitting as a young Amazon had been part of the original 12-man crew of the Fram. Fram is thus one of the most amazing ships to have ever sailed, proving that ships can be made to sail into and being locked in the ice. Today Fram can be seen in the Fram Museum in Oslo, Norway.